right, y'all. I'm going to talk to you about these window and wall AC units. This is a Kenmore. It's my sister. I think it's a 10,000 BTU. <clears throat> so years ago, when you had these window or wall units, they had weep holes at the bottom. So the condensation that you see right there, running around, the water condensation could come out. Now they do not design them that way. They believe it's more energy efficient to let the water stand. And the reason they do that is they want that water to be picked up by the fan in this AC, the external fan. The purpose is leaving the water is to allow the water to be picked up by the fan and splashed on the condensing, the condenser coils. And it's supposed to cool them down because the condenser coils have hot gas running through them. So it's supposed to improve the efficiency of it and make the AC work less well. Although next door I'll show you mine, which is not on right now. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Mine is a wall unit. My sister has the window AC. This AC unit was here when I bought the home and it works really well. So I what I have is I have a paper towel right here to wick the moisture out, the condensate, the water that drips into this pan, collects down this pan right there. So again, the purpose of the water, the manufacturers say, is to make this these units more efficient by having the water, the fan at the back, the external fan on these AC units, kick up the water and splash it onto the condenser coils to cool them off so it makes the unit work less hard, cools down the coils. What I have is just this little uh, waste paper basket right here. So that water that you see in there was collected over like a five hour period last night. I'm not running mine right now, it's 110 degrees outside, but it's like 80 in my home, I'm comfortable. I do turn it on in the evening though, and I don't run it at night. The paper towel I put right here, and it drips right in there. If I wanted to evacuate the water quicker, I would put another paper towel right over here with a water collection, a uh, little waste paper basket or a five gallon paint bucket that's empty, something like that. I don't like the water standing in these units for several reasons. One, if you see in there, there's rust and me no likey that. So I want that water, I want to evacuate that water. Here's what I do. I use one wick and the reason I do it is this. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea or a bad idea to have the water standing down there while it's operating. So in order to go with what the manufacturer recommends and have the water um, do its thing of splashing up on, you know, using the fan to splash up onto the condenser coils, I leave the water in there when it's operating because this that I have, the paper towel, wicks out at such a low, slow rate that the water remains in the bottom of the pan, collected in the pan, and doing its thing of energy efficiency, splashing the water up onto the condenser coils. When I turn this unit off at night, 10, 11, 9, whatever time, I hear that water on that fan slow down, so it's still on that fan, and there's a good amount of water in there, enough for that fan, those fan blades to pick it up. So it is doing its job uh, per the manufacturer recommendations, but what I don't want is for it to sit in this pan at the bottom of this AC while it's not in use. Because to me, that's a recipe for disaster for several reasons. Rust, one, and <clears throat> uh, quite a few people complain about mold, slime, and that sort of thing collecting down here. So that's what I do. I, I go with the manufacturer's recommendations of allowing it to do its job while it's operating, but when it's not, the water's wicking out. And by the time I come out in the next morning, the next morning, it's all gone and in here. So it's not sitting here rusting it, causing mold, slime, mildew, whatever it may be. I know there are some people who drill holes in the bottom of this pan to right up here to drain out that water. I would never do that because I worry about uh, people far smarter than me can do it and be very accurate. Um, I wouldn't do it for two reasons. One, I'm going to go with the manufacturer's recommendation to keep the water in there while the AC unit is in use. And two, if you hit one of these coils in here, it is game over. 
your refrigerant will leak out and you know, I guess it solved your problem because you won't have any more water but you also won't have a working AC. But again if you're putting an AC unit whether it's in the um, window or a wall unit you want to have that tilt back so the AC will sit like this. Not too much just enough to make sure if the water collects in here in this pan down here that it is going to drain out and not drain into your home. Okay y'all I did just empty this waste paper basket with the water in it from last evening and I will tomorrow morning come out and show you how this drips into the little waste paper basket and then how much water was collected uh, by this little piece of paper towel. All right y'all I'm going to turn the AC off now. I've run it for probably four hours and I'm going to shut it off for the night. Um, so what I want you to hear is the sound of the water that's still on the fan. The water that that the fan blades bring up to splash onto the condenser coils to cool those down. So I think you'll be able to hear it as soon as I turn this off and I'm going to turn it off right now. You hear that water? Okay, that's the water that's sitting, collect, that has collected in the pan or casing on the outside of the unit that will be wicking out overnight uh, by that paper towel. That paper towel is going to wick it out into that waste paper basket and clear out that unit and make it dry. So in the morning I'll go out and show you how much water we collected. Alrighty y'all, it's the next morning and I wanted to show you the results of the paper towel wicking out the water. That's how much we collected over a four hour period of run time. So it's been dripping since last night, wicking the water out, but that's water from four hours of run time. And the amount of water that collects in this pan um, differs based on the humidity, how high the humidity is. It's still continuing to drip the water to wick it out at a slower rate because there's not much left. If there were more water in there, it would be dripping at a higher rate. This area back here is all but dry. It's this area right here that it's continuing, the paper towel is continuing to wick out. Now I will also tell you that uh, if you choose to do this, use a paper towel or fabric to have the water wick out of the pan. It's important, really important to have the collection basin because if you don't and it hits either the concrete, if the water drips and hits the concrete, or dirt, it will splash up onto your home, which is not good for your siding. It can cause rotting, discoloration of the paint. You just don't want that. Delaminate the siding. I just wanted to show you the end process. And soon this pan will be completely dried out, which serves the purpose of the manufacturer's recommendation to have the water present when it's in operation for purposes of cooling down the condenser coils and also uh, evacuating that water, removing it so it doesn't sit there and uh, when it's not necessary. So there you go. Hope it helps.